Hello guys, this is Lord Monkus here again, and today I'm going to show you how to get uh, the Medna Fan emulator, and specifically Saturn games, running. A few days ago, Medna Fan had a release, and, well, they finally put in Saturn emulation. And I've had a chance to play with this now for a few days, and it's really good. For a first release, it's actually amazing. So let's get started on how do we get this working first we're going to need the download go here to Medifan website grab the version that you need 64-bit 32-bit Linux whatever I've already pre-downloaded 64-bit version extract files to a folder this is going to generate you know, like anything else give you all your files here uh, BIOS files needed. I'll put a link down below to these files or you can take your if you have them your, your BIOS files from MAME they will work but the important thing is there are these two files here just put them right in the same folder as the executable drop them in. If you have BIOS files from SSF or uh, Yabuse. They will work, but you will have to rename them because they they follow a different naming convention. You'll need the Sega underscore 100A bin. That's the Japanese BIOS files and MPR-17933 dot bin. Those are the American and Euros region BIOS files. Um, pretty much it. Now Medinafen is a uh, command line. Um, emulator there's no fancy UI you can get a GUI for it but I don't use any of those GUIs I use a front end called launchbox but I'm not gonna worry about that right now because you guys probably aren't using launchbox but once you have this to get started really all you got to do is click and drag your Q sheet onto Medna fan and it will work. Watch. As you see, game boots up. Now nothing's configured, no controller is set up. It's just gonna run the raw image file. There are no shaders with this. And yeah, no controller support. Now to get controller working, this is just a basic controller. We're gonna do D-pad it's for the start it's just the D-pad and buttons no analog stick as the base but we'll fix that later but for now what you do here is you hit alt shift and one on the keyboard you'll see at the bottom there you'll see we're now we're in the binding process press up and for each button you gotta press it twice go through it all start now I'm using an Xbox 360 controller now Saturn has eight buttons I bind A to X B to A C to B X I bind to the uh, L1 button the Y I bind to Y Z I bind to the R1 uh, left shoulder I go for the L2 trigger and the right shoulder the R2 trigger and now we have controller support now if you hit alt enter it'll go full screen I'll show you that quickly Bam, full screen but we'll go back into window mode just because and I'm not gonna bother showing you the whole game for what happened with the channel that well shows you me get playing the game somewhat for five minutes and the emulation quality is fantastic um, but that's that's it that's the basic setup there's no graphic effects there's no analog stick support there's none of that stuff now there are command switches because it is a command line emulator to to fix some of that stuff, to, to get the controls. Um, 
the best if you don't have a front end like launchbox the best thing I found to do make a shortcut if you just want to do the click and drag if you only have a couple of games if you have a lot of games get a front end like I said I use launchbox it's a great front end but you don't need that front end there's other ones out there but anyway in this shortcut actually let me grab my uh, command line switch here that I use for all my games see this is how I this is how you set up command line switches in launch box but that's for another video so you go into the properties of the shortcut that you made for the executable go to the end here hit space and this is where you'll start typing in your different command line switches. This first part is just scan lines. I like scan lines. Some people don't. I, you know, the, the value 40 there, that can, that's a range from 0 to 100. 100 is solid black lines. You're not going to like it. 0 is none. Personally, I find 40 to be more my taste. So, I like it. Adjust it to your taste if you won't like them. Uh, this next part, SS Special and NX, it just scales the image so it sharpens it up a bit better for higher resolution monitors. Stretch aspect, integer. These, a lot of these are your choice. Video driver, OpenGL. I'll, I'll post this commands uh, line down at the bottom. The one that you will definitely want over here to get uh, controller. If you want a three, if you want to have analog stick support for games like Panzer Dragoon or nice or any other game that supports it you'll want the command line switch dash ss dot input dot port one space 3d pad that this is what's going to give you your 3d support and I'll show you how to configure that now in a second too um, CD image memcache one this if you get a bit of stuttering when you're playing your game this may reduce it or remove it because it just caches the whole game image into into memory and that's faster for the emulator to read it so if you're getting a little bit of stuttering this may get rid of it if it doesn't well keep in mind this is a unstable experimental build It's the very first build of Medmafen with Saturn support so you know there are going to be some issues here and there uh, dash SS cart auto is just for the memory card it's just auto detects it so anyway, hit apply and you've got your shortcut with command switches. Now when I watch when I launch this game, you'll see here off the screen so you can see it. You'll see that I actually have scan lines. Now, to configure the 3D analog, again you hit Alt Shift 1. This this brings you into your binding for the port. If you have two joysticks, Alt Shift 2 will do the second. So I bring up this. Now 3D control pad. So, but we gotta go through the D-pad first. So all this again. Start A, B, C, X, Y. So on, so on. Now analog, here we go. Up on the analog stick, down, right, and the mode button because this toggles back and forth between the 3D stick and the D-pad for on the fly. I use the select button on the Xbox controller. Done, and it'll work. And then we'll, you use the mode button, see so toggle there back and forth between the D-pad and the analog stick. That's it. Uh, games, very important, would be Q and B. Uh, other images may work, but if you got if you get a dump of a game that's got MP3 files, they're not going to work. Medifan does not like it. Even if they're in individual WAV files, they're not going to like it. You, if you got them in WAV, you can mount the disk image in. Uh, daemon tools and then use image burn to regenerate a new image and that'll give you a Q and bin it should work not guaranteed all the time but it should work 
The emulator does not like PAL region games right now, but you can use a program called the Sega Saturn Region Patcher to take a PAL region game and patch it over to be either a North American or Japanese region. Um, not every game works, but every game I've thrown at it works, and I have about 60 games right now, and they all work, which this emulator is really good. Uh, can't think of anything else to go over. Maybe some other time I'll go over front end, but hopefully this is enough to get you guys up and running. If you've got any questions, ask me down below. I'm always happy to help. Thanks for watching.